awesome God because we love him. How many of you love God on today? I don't know about you, but I love God on today. Hallelujah. And I come to do just that, to show him how much I love him. So help us with these songs on this morning. I love you, Lord, and I lift my voice to worship you, oh, my soul, rejoice, take joy, my King, in what you hear. Let it 
That's why I praise you. And I lift you up. And I magnify your name. Your name is great. That's why my heart is filled with praise. Come on, you say, I love you, Jesus. I love you, say, I love you. the name of the Lord in this place. His great name. We speak his name above every circumstance, above every situation. Come on and praise the name of the Lord in this place. We speak that name whereby man must be saved. We speak the name that has power. We speak the name of Jesus in this place. Hallelujah, Lord. We give you glory now. And we give you praise. God, we thank you for all that you've done. God, we thank you for keeping us all night long and allowing us to see another day, a new dawning. God, we give you glory now. Lord, we realize and recognize that if it had not been for your grace, if it had not been for your mercy, Lord, we ask, where would we be? God, without you, we are nothing. Yes, Apart from you, we can do nothing. Yes, so, Lord, we need more of your power, more of your spirit, God. In the midst of whatever we're going through, Lord, we understand and know that if we speak your name, the Bible declares that all things work together for the good of them that love God. Lord, we love you today. We love you, Lord. In spite of what we're going through, Lord, we express our gratitude to you for we understand and know that if it had not been for you dying on the cross for us lord where would we be if it had not been for your love towards us god where would we be lord we thank you today we thank you for your word god your word which was made flesh god we thank you for your word god now we speak your word upon our lives today, oh God. We declare and decree, Lord, that everything which you said we can have, it is already ours, God. We declare it in the name of Jesus, and it is so, God. We thank you even now, oh God, for, uh, for keeping us. We 
thank you even now, oh God, for healing our bodies. We thank you even now, oh God, for delivering us from, from the unrighteous one. From us, Satan, the Lord God, rebuke you in the name of Jesus. Lord, you are exalted above every circumstance, above every situation, God. You are exalted. We lift you up, oh God. We lift up a praise in this place, a praise that says, God, in spite of. We lift up a praise today, oh God, a praise that says, God, anyhow, Lord, we bless you. Anyhow you bless us, Lord, we'll be satisfied. Anyhow you bless us, God, we'll be satisfied. So God, bless us all the more, God. In the midst of whatever we're going through, in the face of our enemies, God, your, bind, your word declares that you prepare a table before us in the presence of our enemies, God. Let our enemies know, Lord, that you are exalted. You are lifted up. You are high and lifted up, God. For the Bible declares that the earth is the Lord's and the fullness thereof. God, we give you glory now. And we give you praise. God, we pray that you would have your way in this place. Speak now, Holy Ghost. Speak now, Holy Ghost. In the name of Jesus. Saturate this place with your presence, O oh God. Saturate this place with your presence, O oh God. Lord, let us not leave the way we came. Let us not leave the way we came, God. In the midst of whatever we're going through, whatever is on our minds today, cleanse it, God, in the name of Jesus. Purge us, O oh God, in the name of Jesus. We need you, Lord, more now than ever, God. Have your way, God. Have your way in the name of Jesus. And touch your man servant on today. Give him a fresh and mighty word. Quench his thirst, O oh God. For the Bible declares they who hunger and thirst after righteousness shall be filled. Fill us again, God. Fill us again, Lord. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Thank God. Amen. And amen. Amen. Hallelujah. On this morning, I'll be reading Psalms 30 and 5. For his anger endureth but a moment, and his favor is life. Weeping may endure for a night, but joy cometh in the morning. May God bless you and hear us of his word. Hallelujah. Come on, clap your hands on this morning. Say 
Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Can somebody give a great God a great praise? Come on, can you give a great God a great praise? Quickly turn to your neighbor and declare to them that God is great and he's greatly to be praised. We're so glad to be in the house of the Lord one more time. We are so grateful for the celebration that we have for our superintendent's 10 year celebration and anniversary of being the superintendent of the, of the, of the Southern Tier District. Come on, praise God for that. We had an amazing time in the Lord as Bishop Barnum blessed us on Friday night. And if you were not here, I'm telling you, you certainly missed out on the wonderful time in the Lord. Can you celebrate? That being said, can you celebrate our superintendent? Come on, bless the superintendent, to our pastor, to our first lady, and our mother. God bless you all in your respective places. Just a few weekly announcements as followed. Beginning on Sunday morning, every every week, Sunday morning at 10 a.m., GWCC is the place to be. Please don't forget to invite someone to worship with you weekly. This Tuesday, we will have no labs. And we are always together right here again at the Goodwill Community Church of God in Christ at 7 p.m. every Friday for our Hour of Power service. Please be so kind on Thursday, July 28th to mark your calendars as we join together with Superintendent Carver D. Jarman in the Locals District in support of our pastor as he is the guest speaker for that annual district meeting. Come on, praise God for our leader. Also, please mark your calendars for our jurisdictional annual holy convocation, Amen. which will convene August 8th through the 13th yeah, yeah. at the Elam Christian Fellowship yeah. Center at 7 p.m. nightly. And then can you help me celebrate our virtual audience and yeah. family who continue to be a blessing and worship and, and giving. Please keep in mind our two ways to give, which is always via Cash App and additional to Givelify, which is always posted in the comment section. And additionally, can you help me celebrate each of you for continuing to be a blessing and celebrating and worshiping with us every single week. Please keep in mind, um, ne always never forget to share the services for we never know who the word may reach or touch. And I believe yes, that this yes. is a generation where everybody needs to receive a word. Yes. And I believe that God has certainly appointed our pastor for this yes. time and this season. Yes. Thank you so much. Back into the hands of our priest. Hallelujah. 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 As we prepare our hearts for the word of God. Let's open our hearts, set our cups out to receive a word from God. We often say we can sing, we can dance, we can praise, we can jump, we can shout. But only the word is of God is what's going to be lasting. Yes, yes, yes. It's going to help us when we leave these four walls. That's right. So God, we want to give you glory. We want to receive your word. Speak to my heart, oh God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Ah, yes, God. Hallelujah. Salvation and glory. Hallelujah. Jesus, hallelujah, hallelujah, thank you Jesus, hallelujah, yes God, hallelujah, yes God.
Come on and give God a praise. Come on, if you know the Lord is wonderful, come on and give God a praise. I said, come on, if you know the Lord is wonderful, come on and give him a praise. Hallelujah, come on and give God a praise. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Oh, bless the name of the Lord. Hallelujah. God, we thank you and we bless your name for you are wonderful in our lives. Lord God, your power moves even when we cannot see it. We know that you are working in things of the unknown. God, we know that you are working in areas that we cannot see. God, you're healing our body, you're sanctifying our minds, you're restoring our soul. So God, we want to say thank you. We thank you for all the good things that you have done. We thank you for your grace, your mercy, your peace, and your joy. God, I pray for your strength even now, God, as we bring forth the word of the Lord to the people of the Lord. Pray for your anointing that gives clarity and that gives divine understanding. Thank you for these, your people who have assembled themselves. I pray that your word will penetrate their hearts. And Lord God, it will activate the spirit on the inside. That we will live this life free from sin. And we will give no space for the devil. Oh God, I pray that you continue to anoint us for the task at hand. Anoint and equip us for what's before us. And God, we will give you the glory, honor, and praise. In Jesus' name, come on, open up your mouth and give God praise in this place. You may be seated in the presence of the Lord. I love the Lord on today. I love the Lord on today. I give God glory and praise for he really is a great God. He really is a great God. He really, really, really is a great God. And I'm grateful that the Lord is my God. I love the Lord and I'm grateful that the Lord saved me, sanctified me, and filled me with the precious gift of the Holy Ghost. I thank God for his son, Jesus Christ, who was crucified for the sins of the whole world. And yet it not had been for that act of his crucifixion, we would not stand here today being able to come boldly before the throne of grace. But because he died and lived, we can stand boldly on today. I thank God for all of you, God's people. Help me celebrate my wife. I thank God for Lady Chanel. We bless God for her. Thank God for her and for Superintendent, for Mother. Come on, we bless God for them. For all of you, God's people, being in the house of the Lord on today. It's so good to see everybody on today. It's good to see the Thomas family. Come on, I bless God. Good to see you all. I love you with the love of the Lord. I thank God for you, for these minister brothers. I thank God for them continue to go before the Lord. Uh, we had a wonderful time on Friday, amen. We had a wonderful time on Friday even though the Lord really was with us. And he blessed us and he continues to keep us. Um, God continues to unfold his word. And I'm grateful for the manifestation of God's word. Do you really love the Lord? Come on, you got to declare I love the Lord. Come on, and you got to know you won't take it back. Because things are going to come to steal your love. They're going to come. It's going to try to take what you have. I told you all before, I said you're valuable. So that means that if you're valuable, you're worth stealing. You're so valuable, you're worth stealing, Sister Lynn. Because you're valuable. Your mind is valuable. It's worth stealing. Your heart is valuable. It's worth stealing. But you got to know that God is not going to allow the enemy to pluck us out of his hand. Jesus said, my sheep know my voice. He said, and nobody can pluck us out of his hand. God has us protected. So I thank God for all of you God's people. Listen, I'm going to go right to the word of the Lord. Pray for your pastor on today. Yes, sir. Um, my schedule is uh, 
been busy on today, but pray with me that God continues to give me the strength yes, needed yes, yes, yes. for the assignment that is before me. Yes. I thank God as, as announced, we have, um, we won't be here on Tuesday for our labs, um, but we will be back on Friday for our empowerment service at 7 o'clock. So I want you to be here, be here on Friday at 7 o'clock. Um, also, as announced um, on the 28th, um, I will be speaking at, uh, for the local district, the district conference on Thursday night, um, but also on the 31st, um, Evangelist Corbett has been asked to speak at Berea for their youth day. Come on, let's bless God. We look forward to going to celebrate the her that service begins at 1230, 1245 um, uh, BC time, um, BP time um, on Sunday the 31st. So let's keep her in prayer, amen? Amen. Amen. I thank God for all of you. Once again, I want to thank you all for coming out and supporting um, our district on uh, Friday. Amen. Amen. I thank God for um, the opportunities that God gives us to share the word by way of uh, uh, streaming, social media. Yes. Uh, many people watch it during live. They watch it later on. And I just thank God that God has given us a word um, that will attract individuals' minds that they will want to hear the word, amen? amen? So I'm grateful that God gives us these platforms to speak on, and um, I pray that you all as um, as assistants and as disciples will help spread the word that you yeah, will share yeah. with somebody, yeah, right. amen, who's not here. Tell, tell somebody you need to hear that message from yes. Sunday. Yes. Me too. Not, not now, ladies, later. Come on, come with me to the word of the Lord, to uh, the book of Luke, St. Luke, the great physician. Um, go to the book of Luke and the 15th chapter. The 15th chapter, I'm going to begin at uh, verse number 17. I'll be in the <clears throat> New King James Version, uh, verse number uh, 17. This is a familiar passage, but I pray that your familiarity with the word does not hinder your opportunity to receive the word. Amen. Yes, amen, amen. And then I learned that um, you're not as familiar as you think you are. That's right. <clears throat> Come on, verse seven, verse 17 in the New King James Version, Luke 15 chapter, which you have to be signified by saying amen. amen. And the word of the Lord declares this in the New King James Version, translation of God's word. It says, but when he came to himself, yes. he said, how many of my father's hired servants have bread enough to, and to spare, and I perish with hunger? I will arise and go to my father and will say to him, Father, I have sinned against heaven and before you, and I am no longer worthy to be called your son. Make me like one of your hired servants. Verse 20, and he arose and came to his father. But when he was still a great way off, somebody say a great way off. Great way off. His father saw him and had compassion and ran and fell on his neck and kissed him. And the son said to his father, Father, I have sinned against heaven and in your sight and am no longer worthy to be called your son. But the father said to his servants, bring out the best robe yes. and put it on him and put a ring on his hand and sandals on his feet and bring the fatted calf here and kill it and let us eat and be merry for this my son was dead and is alive again. He was lost and is found and they began to be merry. Yes. God, we thank you for your word, for your word is divine truth, and it is light in a dark world. From these passages of scriptures, from this familiar parable of the prodigal son, I would like to preach to us on this morning from a message entitled, The Return. Yes, yes. Uh, the Return. The, the Return. The Return. Huh? Uh -huh. I see a return in your future. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. I see a return in your future. Hallelujah. 
I feel a return coming in your future. It may be you or maybe something coming back to you, but I see a return in your future. <laughs> Don't worry about what was lost. It's coming back. Somebody just shout return, return. Come on, it has to return. It has to return. They have to return. They gotta come back. I have to go back. I feel a return in my spirit. God said it's a return in your future. Oh my God, that plan coming back to you. You say I forgot it, but God's about to give you a fresh win. Glory be to God. Glory be to God. Somebody just declared the return, the return, the return. Hallelujah. I rebuke the spirit of hostage. I rebuke the things that want to keep us hostage and, 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 and no, 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 no ability to breathe and, and we feel like we can't come back. God declares today, oh, you can return. Oh, God freeing us on today. Hey, glory. Somebody just shout the return. Us as people of God, this, this familiar account is literally Jesus' response to the Pharisees. Yeah. Um, this is one of three responses that Jesus gave to the Pharisees as they began to speak to Jesus, to themselves about Jesus and say, Jesus hangs with those tax collectors. Jesus hangs with the unrighteous. And Jesus began to give three parables. One was the parable of the lost sheep. And, and he declared to them, who being a good shepherd loses a sheep? And when he goes, does he not leave the 99 and go search for the one? And when he finds the one, does he not celebrate? Mm, the lost sheep has returned. He says, a woman who loses one penny. She had ten, but she lost one. He said, does she not clean the whole house and look for that one? And when she finds it, does she not celebrate the return of the coin? Yeah. Jesus began to now bring it personal and he began to speak of the return of the son. Yeah. Ah, he, this parable here is called the prodigal son. Oh my God. The prodigal son was so named based off his desire for more. Yeah. Ah, and, and what he did when he got more. He had a desire for the high life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he wanted to live lavishly. Right, yeah. uh, he wanted to ball out of control. Yes. He wanted bling bling before it was a thing thing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he wanted to be popular and he wanted fame. Yeah. So he went to, to his father and he asked his father for his portion of his inheritance because he had what I will use for today he had a, 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 a J.G. Wentworth spirit he believed that it was my money and I want it now uh, because he, uh, uh -huh, he felt that this was mine and he wanted it now but what's interesting is because Jesus never gives him an actual name. Yeah. Uh, um, the Bible never gives his actual name. And, 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 and like so many others in the Bible, uh, he's left known by a label. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, the prodigal son. He's left known by a label, and he's left known by an issue and a condition. Uh, just like blind Bartimaeus. Uh, just like the woman with the issue of blood. Just like the ten lepers. And just like doubting Thomas. However, each of these situations, uh, there was a return. Uh, blind Bartimaeus believed Jesus and his sight returned. Uh, the woman with the issue of blood touched the hem of Jesus' garment. Her bleeding stopped and her strength returned. Uh, uh, the lepers obeyed Jesus' instructions. Uh, they were cleansed from leprosy and they were able to return to their family. Doubt in Thomas, doubt was dealt with when he saw Jesus and then he returned to worshiping Jesus. 
My brothers and sisters, we all may experience issues that brings labels. Yes, yes. We all will experience issues that will tie labels to us in an attempt to replace our name. Yes. We're going to experience issues um, that bring labels that try to change who we are. But I'm so glad that God still sees us for who we really are. And when God sees us for who we really are, we can always return. Why? Because the Bible says he sees us afar off. Watch this. Watch this. You realize that there is nothing too hard for God. Come on, I need somebody to declare there's nothing too hard for God. Come on, tell your neighbor you can always return. Come on, you got to tell somebody to believe you can always return. You can always come back. Brothers and sisters, this parable, we started out where he began to say, Jesus said, and he came to us. Yes, yes, yes. I believe that this is where the parable begins. Oh, uh, Because he went and lived lavishly. Spent all he had. And the Bible says he hired himself. Yeah. He said it again. The Bible says he hired himself. Uh -huh. So because he hired himself, he had to take whatever they gave him. Right. Right. Hmm. Because they didn't hire him, he hired them. To get the little thing. So you got to be careful because the devil, let me put it in our term, the devil will make you pimp yourself. Yes. Yes. You feel like you so in need that you find yourself pimping yourself. Yes. Huh? But and, and, and if you're not careful, you'll find yourself eating with the pigs. Yes. Yes. You'll find yourself slumming with the low life. You'll find yourself eating outside. Right. You'll find yourself outside of the comfort of God's protection. Why? Because you had a need for speed. Yeah. You had a need to be in the limelight. You had a need to be popular. And your desire caused you to chase things that will always wither away. Yes. Yes. Always. Yes. Hear me. And... Before he got too low, Sister Sherry, Jesus said he came to himself. Hallelujah. See, that'll preach all by itself, Mr. Yes. Hall. Yes. Because you got to come to yourself. Yes. I don't care what I say up here right now. I'm preaching to everybody in here. Everybody ain't listening to me right now. Now, I'm talking about this very second. Everybody not listening to me, but the, the truth of the matter, no matter what I say, if you don't come to yourself, it means nothing. Yes. My brothers and sisters, before we can return to God, we must first return to ourselves. Amen. Before you can return to God, you got to first return to you. You got to wake up and realize that some things, yes, are beneath you. You got to say, I'm better than this. Come on, people of God. You got to look at some people and say, I'm better than this. Why I can't hang out with you? Because I'm better than this. My God, my God. Hallelujah. Huh. Turn to me. I gotta remind myself who I am. Who yes, Jesus? Circumstances will cause you to forget you. Circumstances will cause you to forget. Watch this: how tough you are, how resilient you are, how smooth you are, how fashionable you are. How where you can navigate out of situations, how peaceful you are. 
Some of y'all ain't never argued in your life till you got with somebody else that's argumentative. Uh, you remember the days when you would let stuff go. Now you ready to pop off every time something sparks. Come on, you got to get back to who you are. Come on, just shout, I'm better than this. I'm Before we can come return to God, hear me, people of God, we got to return to ourselves. Come on, I need you to say, it starts with me. It starts with me. It said, come on, you may be struggling, but you are not a struggle. Right. Come on, get what I just said. You may be struggling, but you are not a struggle. I'm not a struggle. I may be going through a situation that's in that, that is trying to take the strength out of me, but I got strength. I may be in a, 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 a disturbing situation, but I'm not a disturbing. See, we can listen. My money may be funny, but I ain't nowhere near broke now. I just ain't got it today. But as we used to say, my father is rich in houses and land. He holds the world in the palm of his hand. Rubies and diamonds, silver and gold. I'm a child again. Somebody shout, I ain't never broke now. I ain't never. Don't get that twisted. I ain't never broke. I just ain't got it right now. <laughs> you hear me, people of God? We got to return to who we are. What's this? It said he came to himself. And he acknowledged something that was a truth. He said, oh, my father has hired servants. Ooh, Jesus. See, he ain't talk like this when he was sitting big, D. Right. When, when, when he was sitting as his father's son, he ain't mentioned a higher servant. Right. But now God allowed me to get into a tough situation. And the first people I remember is the servants. Yeah, 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 yeah. He said, my father has higher servants. Watch this, they eat better than this. Right. What I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to my father and I'm going to tell my father I have sinned, watch this, against heaven and against you. I have sinned against heaven and then against you. Watch this. He said, and I'm asking you, just make me as a, as a higher servant. Because all I want to do is be better than what I am right now. Oh my God, did y'all receive that? I just want to be in a better situation than I am right now. Father, I just want to see something different. You ain't got to put me back in the castle. Just put me with the servant because they live better than this. Come on, somebody shout, I just want better. I, I just want better. Come on, is that too much to ask? I, it's not too much to ask. I just want better. Come on, somebody declare, I just want better. So, us as people of God, we must first see and acknowledge, watch this, that we're in a bad state. We got to see it. We got to acknowledge that we're in a bad state. And then we have to confess, watch this, that I need to go back home. I got to confess that I need to get back to the Father. Watch this, because the truth of the matter is, hear me, people of God, if we're forced to return, we won't stay. If you are forced to return, you won't stay. If you're forced to change, you won't stay changed. It is just a matter of time. And before you know it, you're gone again. I've seen people come to the house of the Lord because the devil got on them. And they come in here being chased by fire. And they come into the house of the Lord. I, 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 Jesus saved me. Fire stop. And they go right back on out there. Why? Because they came under crisis. They were forced in the door, but they looked to see when is the force going to stop. And when it stopped, they stopped. But when you come saying, Lord, what must I do to be saved? This is where I need to be. In the bad time and the good time, this is where I need to be. Say, God, I need to be in your will. Hallelujah. 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 Hallelujah
And we return to ourselves. That's why it got to start with you. Because too many times, yes, Holy Ghost. The reason we don't stay, Minister Cameron, because what you bring you into church, you blame in that thing. You don't stay because you blaming everybody else. Uh -huh. You putting the blame on the thing, and when the thing stops, the blame is gone so I can go. Then I'm going to come back and I say, oh, I'm here because of that thing. But I'm here because of this thing. This thing on the inside of me. This thing called my mind. This thing called my will. This thing called my attitude. I get myself into trouble. Somebody shout, God save me. Oh, I don't need you to talk to your neighbor on that one. I need you to talk to God. Come on, I need you to declare it again in the house. God save me. Come on, can I get five people bold enough to jump to your feet and just declare, God save me and God sit back down. God save me. I, I love my children, but God save me. I love my wife, but God save me. Come on, I know you're going through. I love you, Lee, but God save me. Come on, I ain't got time to be checking for you, but I got to check on me. Come on, declare it again. Say, God save me. Say, save me. See, when you return to yourself, we not only, watch this, we not only come to ourselves and make the decision to return home, watch this, we accept whatever restrictions may be placed on us. Oh, geez, wait a minute. I accept what he said. I'm coming home, but I'll be the servant. God, I'm coming back to you, and whatever restrictions you put on me, I'm accepting Whoever you tell me to stay away from, I stay away from. Wherever you tell me not to go, I won't go. Wherever you tell me to go, I will go. Whatever curfew you give me, I'm going to follow. Whatever I got to hold to my body, I will. When you get into trouble, you get into some real trouble. Get into some real trouble. Listen, I'm talking about real trouble. When you get to some real trouble, Sister Bonnie, when you get to some real trouble, Aiden, when you get to some real trouble, Jordan, say they do something to you in the law. They, uh -huh, they may let you go, but they don't really let you go. They put something on you that's called an ankle monitor. And this monitor is there to remind you that you're under restriction. Yeah. 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 I feel it every time. Watch this. I got to dress it up. Yeah. So I wear long pants. Yeah. I wear big socks because I don't, I don't want nobody to see that I'm under restriction. Yeah. Yeah. But it's there to remind me, watch this, I can't go where I want to go. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't stay out as long as I want to stay out. It comes to remind me that I'm no longer my own. Some of us need to put our Holy Ghost monitor back on our ankle. Because you're moving too loose. You come when you feel like coming. You go where you feel like going. And you forgot I'm under restrictions. When I, watch this, Jesus said, you're going to be a slave to somebody. You're either going to be a slave to the devil or you're going to be a slave to God. I said, Lord, I'll be a slave to you. <laughs> See, what you miss, minister brother, is you think because you don't serve God, you're not submissive to nobody. That's a lie. You either going to serve God or you going to serve the devil. One of the other. There ain't no in between. There's no in between. Somebody shout, ain't no in between. Somebody shout, ain't no in between. Ain't no in between. No, and, and hear me, you not good. Yeah, nice. yeah, amen. You not good. Come on, you not good. See, I'm telling you, I don't care. I don't know, no, I don't care. You not good. See, they make us think, oh, I'm good because ain't nothing really bad happening to me. You not good. You are trapped for the enemy, and sooner or later, he gonna come and collect. Jesus, help me. Sooner or later, he coming to collect. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. He coming knocking at the door. Uh-huh. Why? Because you have been good. Uh-huh. And he coming 
to collect. And, and, and you have no power to resist when he comes. Because you forgot I'm under restrictions. I'm mandated to come to the house of the Lord. It's a mandate that I show up. I gotta come to the house of the Lord. I, I gotta be in God's house. I'm mandated to be here. I'm not of my own. I gotta come. I can't be like, oh, I, I was just there Friday. I'm good. You're not good. Come look at your neighbor again. Tell him you're not good. You're not good. Stop thinking you're good. You're not good. We all just one temptation away of falling into damnation. You, you, Lavelle, you, 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 you one side swipe away of giving them a finger. Oh, Jesus. But we got to say, God, save all my fingers. Say, say, I, uh, you see, folks want to be church saved. I got to be church saved. I got to be home saved. I got to be basketball court saved. I got to be gym saved. I got to be mall saved. I don't know if Brittany watching, but I got to be Toronto saved. I can't go out of town and not be saved. You can't be not Vegas. I got to be Vegas saved. I got to be Amsterdam saved. I got to be saved. I got to be saved. I can't act one way here and don't act that way out there. I got to be consistent. Watch this, because I never know when Jesus is going to come. Oh, I'm trying to get back to the text, but I need you to get this. I never know when Jesus is going to come. He said, when the Son of Man comes, will he find faith? I don't know when he comes. See, y'all thought that was a rapture. No, Jesus shows up. He may be bringing your answer, but because you ain't got faith, you wasn't ready. When he comes, because the ladies, you're going to be ready because he got what you need, but you're only going to get it in an exchange. Oh, I'm trying, I'm, I'm getting back, but you, you give it in an exchange, sister Melissa. You got to exchange something, Lavina. You got to give him something. So he said when he come, will he find what? Faith. God, let me get that. Here you go. You see faith? There we go. We go together. Watch that. You got to give God something. That's why he told us to build yourself up in your most holy faith. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. Look at this. We need people who realize, watch this, I need to be here. Yes. Come on, somebody say, I need to be here. To watch be this, here. watch this, I'm, yes. I'm supposed to be here. Yes. Oh, y'all ain't hearing me. Yes. Watch this, yes. I want to be here. Yes. Come on, y'all not hearing me. Yes. I, I need to be here. Uh -huh. I'm supposed to be here. And I want to be here. If you ain't got the trifecta, you never gonna be there. Yes. Oh, y'all hearing me. I know I'm preaching in this place. You got you to gotta know I need to be here. Then you got to know I'm supposed to be here. Then you got to say I want to be here. I don't know, but if you don't have God the Father, if you don't have God the Son, if you don't have God the Holy Spirit, you're not going to say. Somebody say, I need to be here. I'm supposed to be here. Come on, say, and I want to be here. Now put your hands together and give God praise. Oh God. Oh God. Listen, I got one more point. I'm, I'm trying to get out of here. Watch this, people. God. Here's another point. And this is a big point. We're going to take a shift in the message. I'm going to take a shift in the message. You ready, Minister Butler? We're going to shift in the message. Uh -huh. a, 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 a true return is based on this point. Oh, Jesus. It's not just that you, Superintendent, said, I want to go back. It's not just. You, Maurice, said you want to come back. Yes. Here it is. What makes it successful, <laughs> Jesus, uh, does the receiver want me back? There's an old saying that some people have worn out their welcome. Yes, Jesus, yes, come on, y'all. Yes, yes, yes. There's some people who can't return. Yes, 
Because you've worn out your weapon. I don't want you no more. I don't desire you no more. And I don't care what you say, you're never getting me back. We are never joining back together. Because you can try to return all you want. But if I don't want you, it means nothing. That's why this parable is only about the Father. It ain't even about the Son. Y'all getting caught up in the Son when it's about the Father. The Bible said that when he returned, the Father saw him a great ways off. Oh, Jesus. He said, and then when he saw him, he ran to him. When you make up your mind to make a return, God makes a beeline straight to you. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Because he always wants us back. He always. That's why it can't be about you, Sister Melissa. You too human for me. Ladies and gentlemen, you too human for me. Sydney, you too human for me. Your human side may say, I'm done with you. That's why I got to put my hopes on things above. So no matter how much I mess up, no matter how much I move the wrong way, no matter how much I say the wrong thing, when I make up my mind to go back to God, God is there waiting on me. Somebody say he's waiting on me. He's waiting on me. He waiting on me. He waiting on me. He waiting on me. I don't care what you did. He waiting on you. I don't care how long it's been. He waiting on you. I don't care how I don't care what it is. He waiting on you. Come on, I need three more people to get happy. I don't care what was said about you. I don't care what the label is. God says I'm waiting on you. And when you look to return, God says, I'm not even waiting for you to come to me. I get to run it. And when the Father gets to you, we celebrate. You missed that. When the Father gets to you, now it's time to celebrate. The Bible says the Son... When the father got to him, the son grabbed the father grabbed him, hugged him, kissed him, and the son went with his feet. The son went with his prepared speech. The son went with what he practiced. Because he had his own ideas of how the father was gonna respond. I'm telling you, get out of your mind how you think God's gonna respond to you. God ain't as mean as you think he is. God ain't as vengeful as you think he is. He ain't like man. He ain't holding it against you. Watch it and he puts you back in your rightful place. Look at this. Look at this. The return caused the celebration. So the son came back. He said, Father, I've sinned against heaven and I've sinned against you would you please let me be your higher servant the father said servant the father didn't even respond to the son because it didn't even matter because we tie it's about time to celebrate it's time to give him praise because what was lost is now found Watch this. Watch this. He told him. <laughs> he told him. He told him. He said, servant, go get my son. Uh-huh. He said, go get him a robe. Uh-huh. He said, go get him a robe. Why? Because we got to cover him up. Oh, you missing this. He said, go get him a robe because we got to first cover him up. Mm. He said, go give him a ring because we got to remind him of who he is. <laughs> Uh huh. When you marry, they give you a ring and you look at it and it reminds you, watch this, that I'm connected to somebody. Yeah. Yeah. You see, preachers think when you wear the ring on your 
right hand and you put it on your ring finger because it just looks nice. No, no, it reminds you who you connected to. So every time I look down at it, I know I'm not my own. I can't do what I want to do. I can't move how I want to move. I'm married to the Father, so I got to do the assignment that's set before me. He said, go get him a ring, because he think he a servant. Jesus, come on, I'm trying to break the message down for you. Go get him a ring, because he think he a servant. And as a matter of fact, he barefooted. So go get him some sandals to put on his feet to let him know that we walk by grace. This is a grace walk. I can't have my feet on the concrete because I'm royalty. I need somebody to shout, I'm royal. And I need my shoes. Watch this. To balance me out. My nephew was outside and he was shooting basketball. And he had on this new phenomena that has swept the nation. And it's called Crocs. They're terrible for your feet. They're terrible for your feet. And he comes trying to play basketball, cheeks. In Crocs. I said, I don't care if they say that's sports mode. My God. You can't hoop in those. He said, Uncle Kyle, my back hurting. I said, boy, you ain't got no support on your feet. Y'all yeah. missing what I'm saying. Yeah. You can't survive, Sister Bonnie, because your feet ain't intact. Yeah. You got to get some support up under you. You got to know that you're leaning on God's, watch this, sure foundation. So that every step I take, I got my balance. I got my feet up under me. Not only do I got my feet, the devil can't shake me. Because I got some grip with my... I said, I'm, I'm closing, I'm trying to close them down. He said, we got to celebrate. Watch this, I'm done. Because every return must be celebrated. Come on, sit down. I got one point. I'm going to just talk it through. I'm going to talk it through. I'm going to talk it through. Because I want to give you this. Every return must be celebrated. You got to celebrate them when they come back. You can't let your child come back and tell them, mm, how long you here this time? Jesus. Stop telling them you don't believe them. I don't care who comes back. Have faith. Have faith. Yeah. When you return, you want them to have faith. Yeah. Right. And this for real. Yeah. Somebody say this for real. real. Watch this. Watch this. There's two in every return. There's two types of people. There's those who hate, and there's those who celebrate. Yes. Yes. Two types of people in every return. So prepare yourself whenever you want to try to do better, and say, you know what, I'm about to pick this back up. There's two types of people. My aunt went and graduated from school at the age of 60-something. I said, that's good for you. At the same time, it was celebrators and it was haters. Um, you you going to get a nursing degree at 60? Ain't nobody hiring you. You can't keep up with the patients. You don't know what God going to do. They said Sarah couldn't have a child. She was in her 90s. They said Elizabeth was barren. Come on, you don't know what God's going to do. Right. Sometimes God got to shut the mouth of naysayers. Yes. Right. Oh, was it Zachariah? He shut his mouth. Jeremiah, yes. Zachariah, yes. John's father. Yes. Zachariah. Zachariah. Yes. God shut the man of God's mouth. Right. Because I don't need you to say nothing because I'm about to work. Yes. 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 Because at the same time that a return going to come, uh -huh, it's going to be haters celebrating. You see, those who are ready to celebrate, watch this, they're looking for your return. They're looking for you to bounce back. Celebrators tell you, no, you're going to bounce back from this. No, you'll be, you're going to be successful. No, those are the celebrators. Uh -huh. You see, you see, those who celebrate, watch this, they got an attitude of any day now. It's going to change for you. 
They got a one day attitude. One day you gonna return home. Cause they just believe, I just believe. But, but, but then you got haters. Mm -hmm. Those who are glad that you're gone. Right. Right. Those who hope you never return. Right. See, the haters will say, it's good for you. Right. It's good for you. Yes, yes, yes. They, they'll tell you, you should have been eating with the pig. Mm -hmm. You shouldn't talk to my daddy like that. Right. Right. Amen. Yes. <laughs> they want your struggle to be your end. They want your struggle to suffocate you. Yes. But what I love about the Father, yes. that's it. That's it. the Father deals with them too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah. Come on, let me give you the text. He said that after the celebration that the son came, the other son, the other son, and we all his children, so the parable had to deal with children. The other son, everybody say the other son. The other son came, he heard the party going on. He went and looked to see what's going on. Hate got in his heart. Jealousy got in his heart. And he went and powdered away. The father knew that the son wasn't there. Went to his son. What was wrong with you? He said, Daddy, I'm always here. I always do what you tell me to do. I'm a good son. But you ain't never threw a party for me and my friends. You ain't never killed no fatty can right. for me. He said, son, everything I have is yours. Yes. You've been privileged to kill your own fatty cat. Come on, hallelujah. Yes. My God. hallelujah. Yes. You, you could have went and threw a party for you and your friend. Because yes. you was here. You had access to the kingdom. Yes. He was lost. Yes. And we got to celebrate that he's been found. What am I telling you? Stop addressing your haters. They still God's children. Yes. Let him deal with them. Yes. Say, God, you deal with them. I just got to focus on my return. When somebody, God, deal with them. That's right. Hallelujah. Watch this. You got to let God deal with them. So you can keep celebrating. Because there'll be celebration. Every year. Every return requires it. So come on, let's stand to our feet. You, I'm finished. Come on, put your hands together and give God praise. Yeah. Come on, you can praise God better than that. If you receive it. The word like tonight. Yeah. Like today. Yes, thank you. Everybody shout the return. The return is imminent. The return is imminent. It's pressing. Yes. It's so close. Yes. Oh, Jesus, that I can feel it. Yes. It's been hinting yeah. to a return. Yes. Yes. I've been seeing signs yes. of a return. Yes. I'm seeing a wind coming yes. from out of nowhere. Yes. I'm hearing languages changing. Yes. A return is imminent. Right. Come on. The church is about to return to its former prominence. Yes. Yeah. We were an establishment. Yes. We were the community. Yes. Everything went through the church. Yes. If you needed advice, me, you came and sought the pastor. Yes. And a return is on the way. Ah, yes, yes. I feel a return. Hallelujah. I feel a return. Hallelujah. And it's on the way. Lord. And it's only going to be one way. Yes. 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 Let me go here. Let me go here and I'm done. James, let me go here. Hallelujah. There's a famous movie. It's called The Avengers. Yes. And it was the last movie. And the last movie was called Endgame. Yes, yes. And before we got to Endgame, it was prophesied that it was going to be an Endgame. Yes. But Dr. Strange, he looked and he told Tony Stark, I done seen all the scenarios. And there's only one way we're going to win this. He said, we in the Endgame now. Yes, yes. He told him, there's only one way we're going to win this, because we in the Endgame now. Yes. Uh, and the movie ended. And then the next movie came yes. called Endgame. Yes. And in the end game, they're going through and Tony started to get all the way fast forward to the end because it's a three hour movie because they set it up real good. They get to the end and Tony's sitting there on the battlefield. He looks 
at Dr. Strange, and Dr. Strange reminds him, one way. Yes. I'm about to get excited all by myself. Yes. Yes. He reminds him, it's one way. Yes. And you can see that Tony realized the only way is I got to make a sacrifice. Yes. So you realize in the movie that he realized I gotta make I gotta be the one to make a sacrifice. He looked at him, said, one way. Tony gets up and he goes after to me the meanest, baddest villain ever known to man. That Donald Thanos was a bad man. I don't care if you like him or not. I said, that's a bad man right there. He went up to him and he grabbed the glove that he couldn't take off his hand. But he missed, I wasn't going after the glove. Yeah. I was going after the source. Yes, 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 yes. If you ain't watching, go watch it, because if, if you lost, that's okay. And he pulled the stones and not the glove. So when the enemy thought he was about to snap his fingers for defeat, he snapped them and nothing happened. Yeah. Why, because a sacrifice was in place. Yeah. People of God, Jesus knew it was only one way. He said, the only way we're going to make it is if I sacrifice. Yeah. So he went and grabbed all power. Yeah. And he sacrificed his life because there's only one way. People of God, the only way we're going to make it back to God is one way. Yeah. And it's through Jesus Christ. That's all I can tell you, Superintendent. It's one way. So one way. Oh, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. You know other way. I know this may bother your may bother your flesh. It may bother your spirit. It may bother you. As a believer, you may not even want to come back. But it's so you may not even want to watch again. If you watch it, if you watch it, there's no other way. But Jesus Christ. He says that there's no other way anybody can be saved. But through Jesus Christ. You can't come to the Father any other way. But through Jesus, everybody shout, it's one way. If you're going to return, there's only one path back. And that's through Jesus Christ. Come on, if you believe that, put your hands together. Come on, I need you to open up your mouth and shout Jesus in this place. Come on, I need you to raise at least one hand and shout Jesus. Come on, I need you to raise one hand, at least one hand and shout Jesus. Hallelujah. He's the only way. He's the only way. Hallelujah. It's in the name of Jesus. You got victory, but it's in the name of Jesus. You're going to be healed, but it's in the name of Jesus. You're going to be delivered, but it's in the name of Jesus. You're going to be successful, but it's in the name of Jesus. And just as Jesus, Minister Bola, you're going to have to make a sacrifice. He said, if you, don't, if you want to reign with me, you're going to have to suffer with me. You're going to have to make a sacrifice. Uh, how many you ready to sacrifice on today? Give my life to the Lord. Come on, raise your hands and say, I give my life to the Lord. Come on, declare, say, I give my life to the Lord. Come on, say, I give my life to the Lord. Come on, say, I repent of my sins. Hey, God, I give you my life. Come on, say, and I'll do it for the rest of my life. If you meant that, give God a praise. Come on, if you meant that, give God a hallelujah praise. Come on, if you under shame, I need you to rear back and just shout hallelujah. Hallelujah, I'm under shame. I'm okay with being uncomfortable. And I give, I'm okay with being uncomfortable. I don't care who's next to me. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, shout hallelujah. Come on, I don't hear you on this side. Shout hallelujah. You can tell, I need to hear you from the back. Shout hallelujah. Hallelujah. Your shout of praise is powerful. Sister Lynn, when you shout hallelujah, it push forces back. Your hallelujah has a sound wave in it. And that sound wave pushes the enemy back. That's why he tries to muzzle your mouth. When you shout hallelujah, it sends forces into the enemy. He got to back up. Somebody shout hallelujah. 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 Thank you. 
because I got to get some stuff up off of me. I'm trying to return and I got to get some things off of me. So I got I to gotta, I gotta, I gotta get my enemy's attention. Some of y'all enemy has gotten comfortable. He not even looking to leave. He not even paying attention to your praise. So you got to get you got to get their attention. Mm -hmm. The Bible says that I'm finished. When Jesus walked into the, of Jairus' house and the girl was dead, the Bible says that Jesus came in and they were crying and being loud and carrying on. The Bible says Jesus screamed. He, he, he spoke with a loud voice and said, what's going on in here? This child is not dead. She just sleep. Watch this. He had to get everybody's attention. Yeah. And once he got everybody's attention, now he can put them out. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, you got to put the devil out. Yeah. And your praise tells the devil, you got to go. Yeah. You can't stay here. You got to go. Come on, how many of you tired of the enemy messing with your mind? Messing with your heart? Come on, up today, down tomorrow? Messing with your situation, come on, say you gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. You gotta go. Come on, bow your heads. Dear Heavenly Father, God, we thank you. We thank you. We give you glory and praise. Thank you for this return that we've experienced on today. Thank you for those who have come back to the Lord. And God, we celebrate you. And we thank you on today. God, let this word be made manifest continually. We feel your presence now. God, we want your presence to stay with us. Lord God, stay with us. Be with us always. God, wherever we may go, until we meet again, God, let us not slip from this word. Let us meditate on it day and night. Let us remind each other we return back to God. And no weapon formed against us going to prosper. We are more than conquerors. Let us encourage each other that we are better than this. And God, give us ear to hear one another. I rebuke the evil spirit of stubbornness. I rebuke that stubborn spirit. Yes, Lord. I rebuke that shameful spirit. Uh, in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord God, free us from these things that want to keep us in bondage. Free us from these things that want to keep us in bondage. God, free us from these things that want to keep us in bondage. These subtle evil spirits, free us, God. And we give you glory and praise. In Jesus' name, amen. Come on, put your hands together, your brother. Let's you know, receive our offering. We see it in the presence of the Lord. Let's receive an offering. But I'm going to tell you something. I can't thank God enough for bringing me over. I can't thank God enough for he is everything to me. Come on, God is everything to me. Is God everything to you? Come on, come on. We, we need our offering basket. Come on, come on. We need our offering basket. Come on, if you would like to share a seed with us. We have our ways to give on the screen, always on the screen. And we thank you. We have Cash App, Givelify. Please share with us. You can subscribe to our app as we try to share the message. Amen. We're trying to just spread the gospel of Jesus Christ every way we can. And we thank God for you, the God, many of you that may be watching. God bless you. Thank you for tuning in. We've been gone from Facebook for a little while, but we thank God for blessing us as we have uh, come back to this platform. And we just want you to love the Lord. We want you to give God your life. Give God your life. Let no evil fall. Let no evil take over your mind, your heart. Come on, we're in the house today. I want you to share a seed. Come on, those of you that share a significant seed with us on today, those of you that, that desire to, I want you to share that seed with us on today. Some of you can share $20 with us. Amen, if you can share the $20 seed, some of you can share more. I want you to do that on today. I know our finances are important. Come on, the Bible says money answers everything that money answers. Money answers everything that money answers. Uh -huh. Money answers everything that money answers. They don't answer all things. You see, they got to finish that scripture. They'll say, oh, oh, but the Bible says money answers all things that money answers. You understand what I'm saying? So, God, what am I telling you? Lisa, God knows what you have need of. God knows you got a wedding coming up. God will bless you. Be faithful. Don't be shameful. Don't penny pinch with God. Yes, yes. And I'm not Amen. telling you Amen. that finances is equated to salvation because right. it's not. Right. Right. It's not. What I am telling you is that it is equated to obedience yes. and God pouring into you. Yes. She, God said, if you try me with your tithe and your offering, right. he said, I'm going to open up the windows of heaven and pour you out a blessing that you won't have room enough to receive. Yes. In every house, 
I don't care if it's an apartment or a house, you got more windows than doors, do you not? Yes. You waiting for a door to open up. Yes. You should be praying to God to open up windows. Yes. Somebody shout, God, open the window. God, he going to open up windows and pour you on blessings that you won't have room enough to receive. That's God. Blessings will overtake you. Come on, God bless us so much that we give away. Because God been good to us and God favors us. Come on, and we give God praise. Come on, I hope you got enough time to get off your hand. We have our card machine. We have our offer basket. You can place uh, a cash in the basket. Make sure you get the back deacon here. Make sure you get the back. Um, those that are giving online, God bless you. Come on, let's bless God for those that are giving online. Let's bless God for those that are giving online. Come on, we praise God for them. We praise God. If you have a, 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 a offer to put in a bag, please hold.